What is up guys, Del Boy here. So Manny Pacquiao defeats Adrian Broner by a unanimous decision. For the most part, this fight wasn't that competitive. Manny Pacquiao was always several steps ahead and arguably you could have scored him all 12 rounds. It was that type of fight. Manny Pacquiao was the aggressor from the opening round where Adrian Broner was trying to sit back and look for counters again. Adrian Broner falling back into his old habits, looking for that perfect shot. That perfect shot never really comes. As a result, he doesn't really let his hands go and he gets outworked. And that was the case last night, to be honest. Manny Pacquiao just outboxed and outworked a guy in Broner who didn't let his hands go. Manny Pacquiao had far too much quality for Adrian Broner and Broner never really looked comfortable in there. He never really looked like he was, you know, following any type of game plan. He was. It looked like he was just trying to land that one big shot, to be honest, like Marquez. But, you know, Broner's no Marquez. And, uh, yeah, he got outboxed. He got outworked. And Manny Pacquiao pretty much won every round. For a 40-year-old man, and considering how long and hard Pacquiao's career has been, I actually felt he looked really good last night. You know, he still looked quick, he still looked like he was carrying power, he hurt Broner a couple of times, and he looked good for this stage of his career. Is he past his best? Yes. Is he a shadow of his former self? Yes. But that shadow is still pretty good. Even this version of Pacquiao, I still can't see any welterweight just walking through him like he's nothing and having no trouble at all with him. I still think he gives everybody in the division problems. There are a couple of fighters I would pick over him, but I still believe he gives everybody problems. But yeah, in this fight, Manny Pacquiao looked good. He knew exactly what he had to do. He knew what he had in front of him. He knew exactly what to do to give Adrian Broner problems. I mean, you know, the in and out movement for a start. A guy like Broner, flat-footed, he's always going to struggle with that type of fighter. Also, the fainting of Manny Pacquiao in this fight was a big factor. Adrian Broner to me is a fighter who doesn't fight with the most confidence and also I think he he thinks too hard in the ring and when you've got a guy fainting in front of you, giving you different looks, giving you different angles, it can turn into a case of paralysis by analysis and I think that's what happened to Adrian Broner last night. Broner didn't really know how to respond or how to react to Pacquiao's fainting. This in turn affected his confidence, he couldn't get a rhythm down, and that was why he wasn't throwing punches. Broner isn't a confident fighter, he's a guy who thinks far too much in the ring. And I know some people out there will say, you can never think too much, but you, you definitely can. And for me in this fight, not only did Manny Pacquiao expose Broner's technical skills, more so for me, he exposed Broner's mental weaknesses his in-ring anxiety, and Manny Pacquiao really played on that, and uh, he knew exactly what he had in front of him, and he dissected him, and comprehensively outboxed him. Pacquiao in this fight was throwing a really good jab um, from that right hand. It was almost like a power shot, rocking the head back of Adrian Broner, forcing Broner back, really getting Broner's respect. Also in this fight, I felt Manny Pacquiao did a good job of using the technique of shifting, there's a few good videos on YouTube explaining what shifting is, but Manny Pacquiao actually was doing it very effectively last night. And especially when you've got a guy like Adrian Broner who kind of backs up with his chin in the air, he backs up with his hands low. In that case, when you're letting your hands go as you're coming forwards, there's a high chance these punches are going to land against a guy who's backing up with his hands down. But uh, yeah, Manny Pacquiao won this fight clearly. I could go on in regards to the fight itself, the technical aspects, but what else is there to say? This fight played out exactly as I thought it would, to be quite honest. And uh, yeah, Pacquiao retains his WBA welterweight title. Where does Manny Pacquiao go next? I mean, a lot of people are talking about Manny Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather 2. Would I watch it? Probably. And if Manny Pacquiao can get that fight, that is certainly the fight he needs to go for, in my opinion. At 40 years old, Manny Pacquiao doesn't have anything to prove, but if he decided to fight one of the younger champions like Errol Spence or Sean Porter, Keith Furman, 
that would also be tremendous. So, yeah, regardless of where Manny Pacquiao goes, I've not really got any expectations. I just want to enjoy this guy while he is still fighting because he doesn't really have long left. So, I'm just going to enjoy what we have left. As for Adrian Broner, I mean, what can you say? Another big opportunity and he doesn't show up. Who should Broner fight next? I think in an ideal world, he needs to go back down to 140, but I don't think that will happen. So presuming he stays at welterweight, I would like to see a loser leaves town fight between Andre Berto and Adrian Broner. To me, that makes a lot of sense. The loser of that fight would have no way back. And that would make for an exciting fight, in my opinion. But share your thoughts below. How did you see last night's fight? Peace.